These shootings are starting what some call a long overdue discussion on the spread of white nationalism. We saw it happen in Virginia with the deadly violence in Charlottesville. The Commonwealth's top lawyer is pointing the finger at someone and you might be able to guess who it is. Here's Jacqueline Lee. Three mass shootings across the country in one week. Three dead in Gilroy, California, 22 in El Paso, Texas, and 10 in Dayton, Ohio. Today, President Trump says he's concerned about the rise of any group of hate across the country. I don't like it. Any group of hate, I have, whether it's white supremacy, whether it's any other kind of supremacy, I am very concerned about it. President Trump says his rhetoric brings people together, but Attorney General Mark Herring says the president himself is spurring white nationalist ideology. He says go back to where he came from. All of that kind of language emboldens them, makes them feel like they are supported, when instead they should be met with universal condemnation. FBI Director Christopher Wray says the FBI has made about 100 arrests regarding domestic terrorists throughout the last nine months, mostly spurred by white supremacist violence. Attorney General Herring says political leaders need to condemn this. And too often it has been met with either indifference or worse, uh, actual encouragement. 13 is now political analyst Quentin Kidd says the rise in white supremacist violence is causing fear in the political world. Killings ultimately is the is the you know the most severe form of political violence but um, people that won't accept the results of an election and then turn to the streets um, it, it, to riot and protest. Attorney General Herring says he introduced legislation to allow his office to prosecute hate crimes but it keeps getting stopped in the Republican-led General Assembly. Jacqueline Lee. 13 is now.